Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. It's been a couple weeks since I've done my done a uh, garden update. Things are slowly growing because of our cold weather, so there's really not a whole lot of change. Um, my Brussels sprouts are doing well. Don't have any Brussels sprouts yet, but I think they're going to be developing here soon. Can look down in here. I think those that's what's where the Brussels sprouts going to be coming from. So gonna be a little while though before I can harvest any of those um, my Savoy cabbage is doing okay I think it kind of crowded in here so that's why they're not heading up very well you can see this one's it's got a loose head on it so it's, it's gonna take a while for that to finish up broccoli in here is doing okay they don't have heads on them yet so these were um, called an early giant type broccoli. So it's gonna be a little while for those to head up too, it looks like. Some collard greens back here. These were ones that I planted after the squirrels had destroyed the other ones. And cabbage, still got plenty of cabbage left. This is a nice looking head here. This is a Danish ball head cabbage and I'm going to harvest this one today. It's a good size. This is Danish ball head as well. And just got varying sizes in here. You can see I've started from the front working my way to the back as far as harvesting this big bed of cabbage. Some of these are pretty small like this one. I'm not sure how much bigger that's going to get because it was shaded out by this one. So, uh, we'll see. I might have to harvest a couple at a time to build up enough to eat. That's okay, I got plenty. This bed has some more broccoli in it. I harvested this head here, I think last week. And you can see the little side shoot starting to develop. I've not been very impressed with this DeCicio broccoli as far as the heads on it. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a few seconds. This bed's doing okay. This is some lettuce. It's been hit by frost a couple times. So I may harvest some of this and go ahead and clean this bed up. It's got some big leaves on it, but this is supposed to be heading uh, lettuce. And it has not headed up yet. I'm sure I could just harvest the leaves there and eat those. Probably will do that. So what I was talking about here with this DeCicio broccoli. You can see the little head here. Uh, I've grown Pac-Man in the past. And I was very impressed with the size of the heads on these. On the uh, Pac-Man, this is DeCicio and just little heads. I mean, this is puny. Um... I'm not sure if it has something to do about when I planted these or what's going on. You can see the head here. It's really small. Usually, I mean, I would get heads for the Pac-Man. You can go back and look at some of other uh, other videos. They're pretty large, and these are dinky little heads here. But I did start these from seeds. So I mean, I don't have a lot invested in them. Uh, I harvested this one. You can see little side shoots popping up. I'm not sure that our season has been all that great for broccoli. Um, it's been really dry. It was uh, warm, 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 and then cold all of a sudden. So that may have had something to do with it too. And that brings me to this cauliflower. Um, big plants, right? Nice looking plants. Absolutely no cauliflower heads. And what I read about cauliflower is very sensitive to temperature, water, um, but we can look down in here and there's, there's just nothing, nothing at all down in there, but more leaves. I'm just going to leave them. Uh, it's not, they're not bothering anything right now. So maybe if I leave them long enough, they'll decide to head up. So we'll see. I'll keep an eye on them, keep them watered, keep them fertilized. Maybe I'll have some heads of cauliflower by the spring <laughs> if they survive the winter. Same thing with these cauliflower over here. Absolutely no cauliflower heads. 
Last year I grew a couple cauliflower plants, uh, not from seed. These were grown from seed. So this is a broccoli. Um, almost like a little head down in there. Got some lettuce back here on the back too. Collard greens, these are the ones, additional ones that I planted because of the squirrels. So they got a ways to go. You want the leaf to be uh, about hmm, a lot bigger than my hand. So they've got a ways to go. Maybe I'll have some by Christmas. We'll see. Everything's growing really slow now. Because of the weather. These are early Jersey Wakefield. All these were grown from seed. And they're doing okay. It's going to take them a while to head up. This one's starting to. It's kind of small. So anyway, I'm going to go harvest that cabbage. Y'all can watch me do that. And not much uh, going on around here. I've got to blow some leaves today here. I'm going to harvest all these leaves for the spring and put them in my composter over there. And that's pretty much it. Let's go grab that cabbage. All right, so this is a Danish ball head cabbage. Um, this is going to be the second one that I've harvested. First one, I think I gave it away. So it's going to be the first one that we're going to eat. Uh, this was grown from seed and um, wasn't that difficult to grow. I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and harvest this thing. We'll take a look at it. Here's what we got. Here's the size of it. Pretty heavy. Nice pretty cabbage. As far as uh, insecticides, I sprayed these I think twice this season. I haven't sprayed them in at least a month and a half as far as the worms. So anyway, uh, that's what it looks like. This is a Danish ball head cabbage grown from seed. It's going to be cooked and put on my table tonight. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.